Hey Excel TV fans, it's Sylvia here. Nice to be back with you after a brief little hiatus. We are live from beautiful southern sunny California and it's a beautiful day to tell you about my new love Power Query. I've been using a lot more Power Query since we last met in just about everything I do in Excel. And off spreadsheet, one of the things I've been up to is going to a lot of pub quiz. So both as a team player competing in the game and also as a quiz master hosting the game. And one thing I can tell you about being a quiz master is when you're trying to keep track of all those scores on paper, it becomes really hard to stay on top of it, keep the game going at a reasonable clip, especially when you have a lot of teams. So that got me thinking with all this stuff I've been doing with Power Query and what I know about being a quiz master, would there be a way to make the life of a quiz master easier using some of these favorite techniques that I'm about to show you in this next video. And since Power Query has saved me so much time, I think I'm going to go hit the pool. Bye. All right, so what we have here is a very simple little scorecard, just 10 teams, seven rounds, and scores by team by round. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is something that I didn't realize you could do with Power Query. I suspected there was a way, but I only discovered it recently that you can use named ranges instead of just always using tables. So I just wanna show you how that works. I've created a named range here by highlighting A2, all the way through H12 and then just typing scorecard up here in the name box. So now I have a named range. I can go to my data tab, get data from other sources. And instead of what I usually do, which is table range, I'm going to go to blank query, create a query from scratch, pulls up the power query editor in my query settings properties name box. I usually like to do this every time I can remember to rename my queries something more intuitive than query one and query two. So this time we're going to just call it running totals and ranks. Okay, so now we're ready to create a little formula here that's going to grab the contents of that named range. I'm going to type equals excel dot current workbook open parens, close parens. I hit enter and it pulls up essentially a little table of contents. I just want to mention here briefly that uh, Power Query is picky about capitalization whenever you uh, create formulas like this. Make sure you get the syntax exactly correct. All right, so here we have uh, basically a schema of contents in the underlying worksheet. And recall that we had that named range scorecard, so that's why we see this uh, scorecard uh, showing up here. I'm going to use this filter arrow to make sure that it doesn't pick up anything else that might show up in our worksheet later on. Because if we had other tables or other named ranges, we don't want our query to get confused. So I'm going to say text filters equals, and here we should be able to choose scorecard and we click OK. So now I'm essentially filtering out anything that is not related to the scorecard range. So at this point I can right click on the content column and say remove others because I don't need that column anymore. All I need is content to grab the content of that range. So in order to do that we click these little uh, double arrows here and once we click OK Notice that it grabs all the content from that range. It also assigned these uh, funky default column names, content.column1, content.column2. We don't need those. We want our first row essentially to serve as our column headers. So fortunately, Power Query gave us this handy dandy use first row as headers option. I'm going to click on that and it essentially promoted that first row to be the headers for our entire table. So now we're getting close to being able to calculate running total score by team. So in order to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just click the team column only for a moment here and then I'm going to come over to my transform tab and I'm going to come over to this magical little option called unpivot columns. 
If I click the little arrow next to unpivot columns, I can choose the unpivot other columns, meaning other non-selected columns, and watch what happens when I do. It essentially took that short wide table and it made it into a tall skinny one. So those of you with your Excel conditioned brains like me may be looking at this going, wow, that looks like a, a sum ifs that I would do if this were on a regular Excel worksheet. And you would be correct. However, in Power Query, we can use something called group by to get a similar result. So um, I'm gonna click my home tab, group by, and I wanna make sure that I'm grouping by team. And Power Query is going to create a new column for me here. So I'm gonna give the new column a name and we're gonna call it running total. And we're gonna use uh, sum as our operation and the operation is going to be performed on the value column because the value column is where we have our scores, right? So as soon as I click OK, you'll see what is going to happen to this result table. And you can see it's essentially uh, collapsed into a summarized version where we have total score, for each unique team name. So now we're very close to being able to uh, assign rankings. The first step in order to do that would be to sort these running totals in descending order. So I'm gonna click the arrow next to running total. I'm gonna choose sort descending. And now I can see that these teams are sorted in order of highest score to lowest score. So at this point, it's super easy to add a ranking. All I have to do is go to my Add Column tab on my Power Query ribbon. And over here, we've got this Index Column option. I'm gonna click the little arrow next to Index Column and I'm gonna say From One. So essentially, it creates in index column uh, where it just numbers all the rows sequentially starting with the number one. So effectively it serves like a ranking and therefore I can right click on this, rename it, call it rank, and we are done. Essentially all that's left to do is just close and load this. So we're gonna close and load this to a table and let's just put it on the existing worksheet so that we can see the original range and the Power Query result set side by side. So notice when I load, it automatically pulls up this table where I can see the original scorecard, which is certainly easy for uh, data entry purposes, but to calculate the rankings and the running totals uh, is just the click of a button with Power Query. So now let's do a little example where, uh, let's say Hungarian notation also killed it in round two and three. We got 10 in each of those rounds. I'm gonna right click on my table here and click refresh. And now we've moved up to be neck and neck with the what ifs. Hope you enjoyed all these Power Query techniques. There's more where that came from. Look forward to seeing you next time.